I'm down to go to five. Five. The Ravens and Colts. I think a t uh, th this is these are two um, maybe surprises. Honestly, um, I don't think the Ravens uh, made a lot of lists for anyone. I don't. I don't think the, the Colts made. I mean, the Colts maybe have made a couple lists, but it's for it's all for the same reason, right? It's all AR fifteen, man. He's gonna be wearing number five. AR fifteen, man. Anthony Richardson. He's a stud. Um, I, uh, I'm high on him, and and so for that reason alone, I think they got their quarterback of the future. That's top five for sure. I, I'm not sold on Anthony Richardson. I'm not sold on him. Right. I think Anthony Richardson is what everyone th that hates Fields thinks Fields is. I think Anthony Richardson is just an athletic freak. Give him a couple years. Let him get down the uh, the timing of huh. the NFL with throwing and all that, and you you'll see then. I think the first year, though, it's going to be a lot of running, and you just got to be grateful that the Colts have a good offensive line. Yeah. Quentin Nelson ain't gonna let him get hurt, you know. Yeah, and that, that's big. I think uh, the whole the whole aspect of what happened with the Ravens with uh with Lamar Jackson, they eventually gave him the contract. He's on that team, highest played player right now. He's there. I think they're finally listening to him because who can you name who Lamar Jackson's wide receiver is without looking it up? Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham this year, yeah. Who's coming off torn ACL two years ago, hadn't played yep. at all last year. But Rashad last Bateman. Year, he he was a, um, a disappointment. Absolute disappointment. And Mark Andrews past uh pass catching tight end. But yeah. Yeah. It could be yeah, better. Nothing. And uh I think if anyone goes back and looks at the uh, the past podcast when we were doing this, we were talking about who the Ravens should take at twenty two, and I believe we uh talked about Zay Flowers. He came up there a lot. Yeah, and they they took Zay Flowers, and I think that's a great fit for them. That's what they needed. Trenton yeah. Simpson, he, he was uh. I'm oh, sorry, you want to add something to the Zay Flowers? He he reminds me of another Raven. I mean, he reminds me of uh, Steve Smith. He's, he's oh, yeah. got that same kind of juice, that same kind of uh, scrappiness. Small guy, but he's gonna play big. I definitely think it's Kill. a great pick. Mm, not necessarily Tyree Kill. Tyree Kill is one of a kind, man. He's he's got the uh, he's just got that that stutter that nobody else does. So Zay Flowers, I think, is is very good though. He's gonna be very good. Trent Simpson was uh, there was a lot of drafts where he was expected to go to the Bears for uh, you know for linebacker core and all that, which I I think we're I think we're good with linebackers as the Bears, especially now that mm -hmm. we have Noah Sewell. Which before I forget, I didn't bring this up when we were talking about the Bears. Noah Sewell, two yep. years ago was first all pro pack 12 yeah last year second team all pro last year he would have been a second round pick he was yes. a steal for us yes absolutely makes me wonder what's going to happen to uh the neck but you know it is what it is neck. we like sanborn around here we do it was a fun fact my girlfriend went to school with uh sanborn the older one and the younger one in high school so wow so beyond that they uh Ravens also they just need they need defensive help again. Besides wide receivers, they need defensive help. I think they need more help for wide receiver. But you got Mark Andrews, you got Odell. Really depends on how Odell's gonna play. He's getting old. His knee just blew out. I think this was the second time his knee blew out, right? Yeah, I believe so. Second time it's when your job is to run and catch, it's not good when your knee doesn't work. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and now they, You can uh, tell us a thing or two about that, right? Uh, MCLs. It's they suck. Yep. But I think next year you need a couple more, get another wide receiver, help him out. I think you, you really solidify the uh, the defense this year, though. And Andrew Voorhees, that's the man that tore his knee in the combine, went on the bench press, put up the most reps still, after his knee's torn. Okay. He's sitting there. He They said, yeah, you want to go? He goes, yeah. I think he did 30, 32, 36, somewhere around there. Okay. What, on one leg, he did more. And I think he's going to be a fucking steal. I think he's going to do great. How, that's just dedication right there. That is dedication. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and one more thing on, on the Colts on my side. Obviously, I, I think Ballard did a great job with uh, the rest of the picks. I mean, they had 12 picks. It felt very much like the Bears um, type of method, like, like how we did it uh, last year, you know. 
last year we didn't come in with many but we traded around made some moves and came out with a lot of uh, a lot of players and i think he came out with a lot of players and i think when you come out with a lot of players that you know they're bound to uh they're bound to fit somewhere you know they're they're bound to stick eventually oh, yeah. so oh yeah I yeah, like Ballard. I like one. that front office. Jalen Jones. I didn't realize they took him in the seventh. Didn't expect to go earlier. Didn't yep. realize he fell there. Yeah, they stole some players. 